In this video, we're going to review converting between binary, decimal, octal, and hexadecimal. So here in this example, I'm starting with a binary number. I can tell it's binary because I have a little two right there. You know, it's binary base two. Okay, so maybe I'll copy it over underneath. This is my base two or binary number. Uh, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one. I have a little bit more space. And you know, of course, in binary, everything is two to some power in terms of place value. So the first digit, the least significant bit is two to the zero power or the ones place. This is two to the first power or the twos place, two to the second power or the fours place. And you know how this works. It doubles every time. That's my eights place. That's my sixteens place. 32, 64, 128 place. This should be very familiar to you. So to find out the decimal equivalent, I just have to add up every place that I have a one. So I have 128 plus 16 plus eight plus four plus one. And if I put that in my calculator, I get the decimal value of 157, right? I'm just adding up every place value where I have a one. 128 plus 16 plus four uh, plus eight plus four plus one is 157. That is my base 10 value. I'll put a little 10 right there. Now convert, uh, converting to octal, you know there's a shortcut going from binary directly to octal. Every three binary digits is one octal place, right? Because every three binary digits is really some number between zero and seven. That's eight possible values. That's one octal digit. All right, so I'm grouping them in terms of three. Uh, one's place, two's place, four's place. So this is a five actually. And I'll get the next group of three. You always group them from right to left here. And now again, I have to consider this the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, right? I forget about these numbers up top. Each group of three, I have to consider as ones place, twos place, fours place. So this is a two plus one, this is a three. And now I have my next group of three, there's a leading zero here really. So again, this is the ones place, the twos place, and the fours place where I have nothing. So this is a two. That's it, my octal number is two, three, five. That's my base eight number. Going to hexadecimal, I think that's maybe even easier. Well, I don't know if it's easier, but uh, go to hex going to hexadecimal, I just group them by fours. Every four binary digits is one hexadecimal digit. So I just copied the number down here again, and I have a one, one, zero, one is my first hexadecimal number. And this is the ones place, the twos place, the fours place, the eights place. So that's an eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, right? 12, 13. So that is a 13. Now my next group of four, ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. I have an eight plus one. So this is a nine. Now, you know, of course, you cannot write a 13 as a hexadecimal uh, digit. I probably shouldn't even call them digits because digit implies base 10, but whatever. <laughs> 13, I have to express as a letter. You know how a hexadecimal works, right? 10 is an A, B is 11. So A, B, C, D, E, F. <clears throat> I want a 13, so that's 10, 11, 12. 13 is a D, so really I need to write 9D. That is my base. 16 number. In the second example, I'm given a base 10 number and I need to convert it to binary, octal, and hexadecimal. So converting to binary is pretty simple. I'm just gonna write out all the place values that I might need. So let's just do ones place, twos place, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. I keep going until I get something bigger than this number here. Now I don't need anything in the 128th place. I'll just fill in a zero. Uh, I am going to need a 64, and let's see what I have left. So 105 minus 64, uh, oops, that is 41. So I have 41 left. So let's see, 32 and 8 is 40, and one more. So the rest are zeros. Now, if I go through and add these up, let's see, 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 1, that should give me 105. And I believe it does. So let me copy my binary number here. I have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. That's my binary number. 
Uh, now I'm going to go to octal. Now we just did this above. You know how to do this. I'm going to group them in terms of threes there. So ones place, twos place, fours place. That is a one. Maybe I'll just write it down there. Uh, again, ones place, twos place, fours place. So four plus one is a five. And then again, ones, ones place, twos place, fours place. I just have a one there. So my octal number is 151. That's base eight. Now to go to base 16, of course, you just group it by fours. Maybe I'll use this one right here. That's a nice group of four. That's a nice group of four. So ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. So I have an eight plus one is a nine. Ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. So I have a four plus a two is a six. Six, nine, that is it. That is my base 16 number. In this last example, we're given a hexadecimal number and I need to convert it to decimal, binary, and octal. So let's first convert it to decimal, of course, and maybe I'll write it underneath here. So A, D, D, add, isn't that clever? So in base 16, every place value is 16 to some power. Obviously 16 to the zero power is one. Anything to the zero power is one, of course. 16, this is 16 to the first power or 16 this is 16 to the second power, 16 squared is 256. And of course, if I had another place value here, it'd be 16 to the third power, that'd be some big number. So uh, really I have uh, an A in the 256th place. Now an A of course is a 10, and maybe I'll just list them on the side here. A, B, C, D, E, F, right? A is a 10 in hexadecimal, B is an 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have uh, a 10 times 256 or 2560 is really what this is. I have a D, which is a 13 in the 16s place. So I have really 13, I'm gonna have to use my calculator here. 13 times 16 is a 208. This is really a 208 right here, 208. And then I have another D, uh, which is a 13 in the ones place. So this is a 13, right? So hopefully that makes sense. I'm just gonna add all these up. 2560 uh, two, uh, plus 208 plus 13, and that is 2781. So that is my decimal number. 2781 in base 10. Uh, now going to binary, that's really not too bad because each, you know how this works, each of these hexadecimal digits becomes four binary digits. So a D, which is a 13, and I'll do that underneath, a 13, ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place, I need an eight, a four, well that gives me 12, and another one, that's 13, so that's my first group of binary digits, that's my 13. I have another D, well, it's the same thing again, ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. So that's gonna be uh, 12, 13 again. And then finally my A, ones place, twos place, fours place, eights place. And A is a 10, of course, so I need an eight and a two, that gives me a 10. So this is my binary digit, my binary number. I'm sorry, I should say one, zero, one, zero. Um, one, one, zero, one, and another one, one, zero, one. That is my base two number right there. Now, of course, octal, once I have binary, it's a piece of cake. My octal, I'm just gonna take my binary number here and convert it to octal. And you know how this works. I'll group them in terms of threes. One's place, two's place, four's place. So that is a five. And the next group of three, I have one, two, four place. So that's a three. My next group, again, that's another three. And my next group, that's a five. One's place, two's place, four's place, that is a five. So I have five, three, three, five. Five, three, three, five. That is my octal number and I am done.